So give it a chance because it, exactly that spirit of journey, you know, be good to yourself, all of that right. is still there. Don't stop believing, right. you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, and we've, we've toured with the film, different film festivals, and you meet different people. It could be at a bar, you know, happy hour before the film or at Q&A after the film. And 95% of people that come and introduce themselves always tell me about a don't stop believing story of their own. I mean, some very, very serious, you know, I was diagnosed with MS, and that was my song, Don't Stop Believing. My mother had passed a cancer, that was my song, Don't Stop Believing. I mean, the song really, really touches people. And, yeah, I think, you know, all my films and the subjects I choose are all very human experiences, sort of show the resilience of the human spirit and, and you know, love and laughter and triumph and sadness and all of that, and I just think that this is it. This is something I'm very proud of. You have a very powerful emotional interview with Ross Valerie in the film, and he talks about so many people sign up for the fame and glory of being in a rock band, but they don't actually realize once they get it what it entails, and either they're too exhausted to enjoy it or they don't realize what responsibility is behind it. So what was going on the day that you got that footage? Because it was incredibly moving, where he talked about it's hard to keep up with people mm -hmm. that maybe you knew from the past, you missed sort of right. milestones. And you could see that he was processing his own thing in his mind that I'm sure many people have mm -hmm. had to go through. All the guys, I mean, this is a testament to Ramona, my wonderful director. Everyone, including Arnell, of course, I think she made it so easy for them to open up to her. And that interview was done in his home. She spent time with each individual person in their home, whether in Northern California, Portland, Memphis, and of course the Philippines, Manila with Arnell. And just, she just spent the day with them. And you know, she hung out with them, saw their hobbies, if they like to ride the motorcycle, or if they, you know, their music, or just different things. And, and then she sat down and conducted this interview. And, and that came out, and, and that it was interesting to me. The tour, a normal person has no idea how grueling a tour is. I mean, it's like, literally, like you might go to sound check at four o'clock, you do sound check, you hang around, you eat, you do the show, you shower, you get on the road, and sometimes you might only travel two hours, sometimes you might travel eight hours and then you sleep for a couple hours, you know, usually kind of when the sun is rising to about two in the afternoon, get in the truck, go to the venue, do sound check, and just do it over and over and over again. And like, as filmmakers, our health was deteriorating, our sleeping was off, our eating was off, and I just can't imagine having to do that and still look good and sound good and be happy and perform and just give the 150% that these musicians give. Um, it is, you wake up and you don't know what day it is, you don't know where you are, you don't know what city you're in. When you're on tour, it's just like this constant motion. It's very grueling. I mean, these guys just are amazing. Well, I thought it was interesting, too, how Arnell really stressed taking care of himself when so many, you know, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll is such a, a oh theme. My God. And he, he was drinking the tea, and he was, he even said in another interview that he really feels that he needs 10 hours sleep sometimes. And I thought that was so great because he was really protecting, uh, of course, himself, precious being that he is, but also his voice that's right. so amazing. I mean, the pressure that was on him, you figure if he just gets a cold or decides it's decides he can't sing that night, that's 20,000 fans. I mean, that's a big deal to cancel something that big. So, you know, the, the momentum of, and this, this tour was like riding on him, staying healthy and being able to perform 110% every night and give every single person what they paid for in that city.